Gear. You don't necessarily need lots of it, you just need items that you enjoy using a lot. It could be your default setup, the one that you always have ready to roll, whatever the situation, whatever the subject. There should be one camera and one lens that you can always turn to. This video was shot with the Sigma 1835 1.8, apart from the clips where you can actually see the Sigma lens in front of the camera. Oh, see, back in my days, they used to do that in the Tesco car park. It's become a proper sport now. Well, anyway, today I am gunning alone, shooting alone, without Tim, because he died, unfortunately. Not really. He's in Vegas for NAB. Lucky bastard. But for this video, I'm going to tell you why the Sigma 1835mm is a fantastic lens for video peeps. It's probably the best value for money ever. This thing is about 660 quid, 700 bucks in the States. That's practically nothing for a decent zoom lens. Look at it! Behind the scenes, me vlogging, filming myself with the C300 Mark II and the Sigma 1835 1.8. The permanent home for this Sigma 1835 1.8 is this camera. One of the reasons why I like the C300 II is the dual pixel AF. Luckily the Sigma works well when filming with continuous AF. It's perhaps not as quick as some Canon lenses, but not far off. Now when shooting by myself, I like that versatility of having a zoom because you can just whack back and forth like that. I'm so glad I said whack. Very close to saying another word. But I didn't get this lens for just its practicality. It's all about that maximum aperture. This is quite a unique bit of glass. And it's from Sigma. Video geeks might want to know if it's parfocal. Conclusion? Don't be stupid, it's sub parfocal. And it's nice to have that shallow depth of field. Well, Mogu! We all know that shallow depth of field doesn't equate to good bokeh, but you get the creamy goodness here. What's more, it's sharp. Oh yes, a little softer in the corners, wide open and wider, but good. it works out a kind of a shortish standard zoom. One problem is though when you're shooting with this kind of stuff, it is a little bit too short. Check this out. At the longest end at 35mm on the Super 35, it's a nice focal length, but just not enough reach for some sporty stuff.
And in my opinion, the ergonomics of the lens are second to none. Both the zoom and the focus ring twist with a smooth action, better than quite a number of the other autofocusing lenses out there. If I could pick anything about it that I don't like, lack of IS, which is always useful when shooting handheld. But even then, on a camera with some weight to it like the C300 II, perfectly acceptable handheld shots. The Sigma 1835 f1.8 just goes to show that getting the best lenses for your setup doesn't always mean buying the most expensive ones.